Pero bueno, se Ay, baby, ok. Hola, ¿cómo? Sí, ya me Yeah, uh, guys, we can start now, right? Let's start. It's already nine o'clock. You can start. You can go back to your place. You prepare your notebook, and we can start. All right. Yeah, uh, yesterday we were talking about network security, right? We are going to move on. Uh, please, can, can somebody switch on the projector, please, for me? Just leave it. Maybe when I... Yeah, so we are going to talk about CIA triad, goal of network security, all right? What we are looking at by protecting our network, all right? Goal of network security. Number one, the C, you see it's written CIA, means there are three words. One, that will start with C, second one with I, and the last one with A. The first one, C means confidentiality. What does it mean by confidentiality? Private. Yeah, private, right? So confidentiality means <laughs> private. You have to make sure when you have your company, your information is kept. Yeah, right? You have to look at all the mechanisms that you are going to study like here to make your information private, right? Only authorized people must have access. Did you understand? Only users who are working for that particular company must have access to your information, right? From the basic level, you can start by giving them what? User account, right? As I said, everybody who's going to use your system must have either username and password, right? Why you need those details? Because sometimes you can track. You will know what went wrong. You will know who did what, right? So this is the meaning of confidentiality, right? So when you are done with your design, you run your cables, you finish with your IPs, like everything runs smoothly. When you move to security, you have to make sure that you have to ensure confidentiality, all right? Number two, it's what we call integrity. Integrity means what? Make sure that your communication will be, will be static. Nobody can change your data, all right? Make sure that data that you are using in your company, your information will be correct. Nobody can change your data. This is the meaning of what? Integrity, all right? There are so many tools or so many programs that we are going to see that will allow you to ensure what? Integrity, all right? Integrity means make sure that users are receiving and sending correct 
information. All right? Maybe you are sharing data in your company. Maybe it's wrong. Somebody already hacked your system and changed your data. Maybe the message that you are receiving is not the one that you supposed to receive, right? So there are so many programs that will allow you to configure what integrity, right? To make sure that users can send and receive correct yeah, information. Nobody can change it, right? Sometimes your data will move from one branch to another branch, like from Durban to Pretoria. Maybe somebody can change it when moving, right? So somebody can capture your message and change it. You have to make sure that the way they sent your message, this is the way they're going to receive it, right? So there are so many programs that we are going to see later on. But for now, you have just to understand the meaning, right? So integrity means data must be correct. The last one is what we call the availability, right? You have to make sure that data will be available. You have to make sure that the database, your application that you are using in your company will be available to users, right? Whatever that you are going to be learning, you have to make sure that you are going to implement those techniques in order to make sure that data will still be available, right? Not like people are waking in the morning, they go by the ATM, they cannot access their money. Savers are down, right? You go maybe, you wanna get your result, they will tell you, savers down, all oh, load shading. You have to make sure that you have like other sites. When there's a problem here, user can still access their, their data, right? Before the end of this training, you are going to learn all those techniques, how to ensure what? Availability, right? So confidentiality, make sure that your information will be private. Uh, integrity, make sure that nobody can change your information. Availability, make sure that users will still access their data, their information, no matter what happens. Even if this building can take fire, you already make a plan. Like if there's a problem here, data will be in another building, right? This is the meaning of CIA. Let's move forward, right? Now we are going to talk about security traits, right? We are going to get so many questions related to confidentiality, uh, integrity, and uh, availability, right? We are going to talk about security traits. First, you have to determine the difference between traits and uh, your, your traits and attacks. What is a trait and what is an attack, right? So a trait is a potential security violation. Potential security violation. So something that can happen, right? The probability of something to happen Right? So this is a trait. Like uh, somebody can hack like our server, right? Attacks means what? Attempt to breach security. Attempt to breach security means maybe somebody's trying to access what? Your computers. Somebody's trying to access your phones. Somebody is trying to access your data. We call it attack. But threat is the probability of something to, to happen, right? We can move forward. Now, 
let's talk about malware, all right? Malware. Yeah, what is a malware? Yeah? It's malicious software, right? Like a virus. Malicious program that can do wrong things, that can steal your information, that can destroy your networks, right? We call it malware, malicious software. Something that can harm, like a program that can harm, right? It's a mal malware. There's a question on that. They wanna just maybe ask you what is the malware, or maybe they wanna give you like a scenario. They want you to find if that scenario, are they talking about malware or not? So it's malicious software or program, right? That can do something wrong to your system. Maybe stealing data, maybe disturbing your network, right? Why? Because they wanna make money. So malware, sometimes we do have those malicious software just for stealing money. So it means this, somebody can create his own program that we call malware just for stealing money, right? So maybe I can create my malicious software, send that link to you, right? I can say, okay, I click on this link, you're gonna get a gift. When you're gonna click on that link, maybe I can get some details because maybe you're gonna fill your form one of the form there, your name, your surname, your email address, your phone number. And those details will come back to, to me, all right? Number two, are stealing information, all right? So those are some of the aims of those malicious software. Sometimes it's just for stealing information, all right? And sometimes also it's just for denying like access to users. So I can hack, so I can attack this network, this building, and stop the wireless access point. So I can disturb the network. So you wake up in the morning, we can come here, no internet, right? And for that, I can say, guys, I want money, right? In order for me to do what? To fix it. Maybe I can access your laptop, blocking your hard drive. You cannot access your hard drive anymore. Or maybe you can access it, but you cannot see your data, right? So you have to pay in order to do what? To access your data. So there are so many ways that these guys can operate, right? Now, there are so many types. The last one is not malware, it's a uh, worm. Let me change it first. So we're gonna talk about some malware that exists. Virus, a trojan, and worms, right? You need to know them for the exam, right? Even for your international examination. They are very easy, so I just put it those words that you're gonna remember. Virus is a malicious software, right? But a malicious, this virus, make a program. You create your own program, right that program will do nothing without users action right so you create that program maybe that program is for stealing information right but that program will wait a user to click on that if a user doesn't click the program will perform nothing this is a virus so you have just to keep that word virus will operate only if a user do something, right? So a virus will wait for a user's action, right? A virus cannot spread by itself. Means what? A virus cannot move from one computer to another computer. You have to carry it by using maybe a USB. You have to carry, right? Or maybe via email. By itself, the virus cannot move. So those are the words that you need to, to understand for the exam. Virus 
cannot move by itself, and uh, virus will wait for user's action. Right? No need for you to memorize longer distance because you're gonna forget. I know that your your mind got so many thousands of things you already learned. Right? The second one is what we call Trojan. Right? So Trojan is a malicious software, just a program, right? A computer program. But that computer program will behave like a legal program. Right? Like maybe you're gonna get a message that will say, okay, I am Lisa. Can I get your details? Right? Maybe I'm Kez. Maybe I'm working for the municipality. I'm working for the government. I wanna get some details about you. Maybe I'm working for Capitec. Can I get your user name or maybe your password or maybe your card number? Because I wanna fix something up, right? So this is a Trojan. So that program will appear to the users like something legal. But in reality, that program will wait to harm you, right? So you see the difference. So Trojan, that legal, you must keep it. Like a legal software, right? Like something that is legal. Number three, it's worms. Worms is a malicious software, but a worm can spread by itself. A worm cannot wait for you to do an action. By itself, it can spread. So if a worm can be on that computer, that program can move by itself. The way they create it, that worm, that computer program, can move by itself without users' action. So this is the difference between worms and viruses, right? So virus cannot move, worm can move by itself, right? And when a worm can move, your network will be very slow. There are so many things that will happen, but you are going to see later on, right? You have to keep those informations for your, your exam, right? Just virus, users action, not moving. Worms can move by itself. Trojan appears as legal, finished. Just one sentence, you know three of them. Okay, let's go to, yeah, there's what we call a uh, threat actor attacks. Uh, this is uh, the person who's going to perform at the attacks. Just a name, huh? The person is going to perform the attacks and yeah. Any question on that? No questions, right? So what you need to understand is this. When you have a company, when you have your organization, you have to follow the CIA trail. When you are done with networking, you are done with servers and so on, you must take your Excel sheets, you must take your notebook, you are going around, you are checking confidentiality first, right? Are you sure like only people like who are working in your company can access data? You must check, you must verify. When you are done with the uh, confidentiality, you have to move to what? To integrity. Are you sure that your data cannot be changed by somebody else? When you are done with that, you have to move to what? Availability. Right, most of the time, you cannot, like maybe for internet, you cannot use one provider, you must have two or yeah, three providers. If one line is down, users can still be connected to another. Did you understand? For internet exam, right, you must have two to three lines. I know that is going to cost. But this is how things must be. So if this line is down, you move straight to the, to the other one. You cannot have one server, right? You can have maybe two servers doing the same things. 
if one server is down, data will move what? Automatically to another. Like you have your two computers. Those two computers are keeping the same files, right? So if this one is down, data will move to the without your effort, right? And if this one is down, you already make a plane, right? If this, okay, let's say this is your building, right? You have your computers here. You must have another building with the same design, same offices, same computers, right? If this building can take fire, you can move to that other, especially for bigger companies or banks, right? But we are going to see all those things slowly by. So even switches, even routers, wireless access points, you must always have double, double, double. <clears throat> right? For, for availability, right? Yeah. Uh, you, let me just show you. No, I don't want to tell you because you're going to harm things. Ah. I was just sitting somewhere. You can access everything, that's it? No, no, no. You're going to harm like people stuff. Okay, let's talk about what? Spyware and what? Right? Spyware will... Like the word said, it was spy. Spying to malicious software that will do what? Yeah. Like you, you got your phones, right? Somebody can install like a spyware, right? Whatever that you are doing on your phone will be recorded and sent to the, the owner, right? So that program will start spying users. Whatever that users are doing, that malicious software will keep the record and send it to, to the owner, maybe via email or maybe via what? via SMS and so on, right? So you will never know you have your laptop. You are sitting at home doing your personal business there. You are typing, but there is a spyware, one of the program that is installed on your laptop. Whatever that you are doing, right? So some of them is just whatever that you are typing on your keyboard, it's been saved. When you are sleeping, automatically your data will go to the owner. So the guy can sleep, he's just receiving stuff for different people, right? So this is a spyware. The second one is what? The hardware, all right? Most of the times you are receiving uh, what some of the advertisements, like without your effort, right? It's what we call what? Hardware. You just go to the internet, sometimes you, you can see some pop-up, some windows that are appearing, right? Mm -hmm. So they want to advertise like something to you without you asking them. Sometimes it's malicious software, right? Any other question before taking our tea break and come back, move forward? Question, guys. Very short lesson. Yeah, tea break now.